the great big first a world war, war memorial war. dedicated to muslims who served for britain sky news gets a first look the idea is as you approach the memorial it draws you in and that there's something you can see there's more detail more information and craftsmanship architect benny o'looney says the design is about creating a lasting memory we see a combination of an elegant um quite um, delicately shaped brick tower with the key details in ceramic or terracotta as being something that will really be low maintenance and look fabulous generations from now, which is, of course, what architects want to do. This is said to be the first national memorial dedicated to the remembrance of Muslim soldiers. In a country with a rich tradition of remembrance, it's said to scale up smaller memorials like this one just outside of London. You feel that, that human contact with those that we're commemorating. And I think that is really, that, that's, that's quite a powerful feeling. Lieutenant Colonel Naveed outlines the contribution Muslim soldiers made. During the First World War, uh, approximately 400,000 Muslim soldiers fought for Britain. Uh, during the Second World War, just under a million, so about 40% of the 2.4 million of the British Indian Army who fought for Britain were Muslim. And this is the proposed site, the National Memorial Arboretum. 400 monuments nestle among 25,000 trees, a place to remember the unique contribution of some of those who served and sacrificed. My community know nothing at all, or very little indeed, about what these brave people contributed. The fact that people volunteered for service, and in some cases gave their lives, in the service of the Crown, in the two world wars, to make Britain what it is today. Irfan Malik's ancestors served in both world wars. It'll be a symbol of remembrance of those campaigns, the sacrifices made, and also an opportunity to educate our younger generation um, to improve community cohesion in this country. The World War Muslim Memorial is set to be completed by the end of next year. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.